celebrate that. <laughs> How are you, Ezra? First, well. congrats on What's being here. Nadia. Nadia. Hello, nice Nadia. to meet you. New York local so, president. Yes, New York. Hi, how are you? How are you? Yes, yes. So yes, you're representing New York and for New York SAG Afro, which is super important, especially coming off a uh, crisis with COVID and then the strike. So many things back to back. I guess, how has it been like navigating and getting things back, you know, flowing? It's been the work <laughs> of heroes, <laughs> the task of champions, that we've all risen up to the task. This thing tonight only shows that no one works alone. We all need support and solidarity. That none of this would have happened without that collective solidarity, which kind of spread all over the globe, actually, quite, quite literally, to include other people who rec recognize their struggle and our struggle. So to resolve it successfully, big, big victories. 100%. Writers are like, you know, the bread and butter of everything to make a film and TV. Absolutely. And then um, at New York Comic Con, I got to cover the voice actors um, strike. So I guess, how is it working with video game writers and video game voice actors, voice actors, and just kind of all coming together to fight against this, you know, crisis? <laughs> it's showing that our goal is human-centered approach to AI. It's made by humans, it's created by humans, it needs human awareness and sensitivity to be able to use it, not to abuse it for the sake of performers. So our video game performers, our broadcast journalists, actor performers on television and film, background performers, stunts, everybody is at a point of an inflection point of this time being affected by it. So right now, we're just trying to get past this strike. This moment is kind of celebrating what we've done as a result of it. But as we move past, as work returns, because work is returning, it's settling back in to resume, but also uh, we got to clean up these last loose edges of agreements and contractual arrangements to speak to a AI and everything else to make sure that we go forward really, really strongly. Even artists are in this fight together. I know a couple of artists um, that were with Marvel that are part of like the lawsuits, like trying to like fight to protect their work. It's just, it's just so chaotic. <laughs> Well, yes. That's absolutely, I, you know, I think the interesting thing is some of the stuff that Ezra and I, along with the WGA East and uh, the IATSE and the Teamsters, everybody is working on a lot of legislation together that we have put forward. Uh, for sag After. it's so important to be able to protect people's image, voice, likeness. So we've, 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 we're very victorious in this contract, but that's the four walls of the contract. So we view it as a very important step forward, the, the solidarity that came off of that is really driving a lot of our efforts both in D.C. as well as in Albany. And this is our legislative labor oh, yes. shark. Uh -oh. So, so <laughs> she, shark. she makes sure she keeps us protected and yes. keeps us aware as a union as well, as well as the public awareness around legislation because none of this will happen solely on our backs. It's going to happen through legislation and the larger loop of what this means to all culture, to all of this country and the world for that matter. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for the fight that you do and have an amazing time at the Writers Guild. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. So great to meet you. So great to meet you. Thank you guys. Have a great one. Thank you guys. Thank you.